Hey, I'm Peter, and I'm gonna make sweet chili glazed salmon. This dish is delicious, and it's so simple. I'm almost embarrassed because it's so simple. But all three of my kids love it, and they don't love salmon. So there's something going on with this dish. We're gonna start with organic salmon. If you could find wild, now just be careful. I just don't want to buy farmed fish. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know that it's healthy. This is organic salmon. I paid $22 a pound for it. It's so expensive, I know. But if I'm going to eat salmon, I want the best for myself and for my kids. I usually look for wild. It's much cheaper in season, okay? So we're gonna start with our organic filet. We're gonna turn on our frying pan here. We're gonna bring it to temperature. And this is so easy, like I said. We're just gonna drizzle with olive oil and we're gonna wait to, for that to come back to temperature and all we're gonna do is sear this on both sides for about a minute. Pour some beautiful sweet chili glaze on it. I'll show you these products that I have. And then we're gonna throw it in the oven. We're gonna blast it. My oven is preheating to 500 degrees. Yep, 500 degrees. And that's already coming up to uh, temperature. How do you know your pan's ready to go? when it sizzles like that, right? So we're gonna wait a couple more seconds. I've got two chili sauces here. I just picked these up in my local supermarket. I'm gonna use this one because it's already open and I think I used it last time. Um, Frank's Red Hot makes a chili glaze as well or a sweet chili sauce with some of that hot sauce. If you want it a little spicier, you can do that, definitely. Okay, so I think this is coming up to temperature. I'm just gonna check one more time and that's ready. So we're gonna put this down we're gonna put it flesh side down. And we're just gonna leave that for about a minute. And while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna set my timer. Okay. And while we're doing that, I wanna show you my one of my favorite drinks, which is a gin gimlet with a variation. I'm gonna make it with lemon juice instead of lime juice, fresh limes. Now, I do this with vodka, with gin, with lemons, or with limes. I mean, there are rules, but hey, rules are meant to be broken and bent at the very least. And you're gonna absolutely love this, it's so delicious. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is get our ice cubes. And it calls for about two ounces of gin. I don't really measure. I kind of have an idea of what I want. I'm, and if I was gonna do this for two or three or four, I would do it in a larger shaker, obviously. So I've got my, before I cut my lemons, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to zest them for this recipe. Now, sometimes I zest them. That's our minute. I'm gonna flip that over. Sometimes I zest them, sometimes I don't. Okay, and when you're flipping, Fish always flip away from you. Okay, we're gonna do another minute. And then we're gonna pour some chili on that and blast it in the oven. Uh, sometimes I zest the citrus and put it in as well for a little extra flavor, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Okay. I love having gadgets in the kitchen. It just makes life a little bit easier. It makes cooking a little more interesting. You could rough it and go Spartan. That's cool too. Okay, so that's just about ready to go in the oven. And I'm gonna use two lemons per drink or two limes. Okay, now watch how easy this is. We're just gonna pour, thank you. We're just gonna pour the sweet chili glaze over. A little bit extra, it sounds amazing, right? A little bit extra because we're gonna make a little sauce and then we're gonna blast it in a 500 degree oven for about five, six minutes. Depends on how thick the fish is. We'll let that go. And back to the drink. So we're gonna put another lemon in. Um, I'm gonna tell you about the gin I'm using in a second. And I wanna tell you something about organic because I just, it just makes sense to me and it might make sense to you too. So I've got two fresh lemons squeezed in there. I've got a little agave just to sweeten it up. You don't have to. I have a friend who doesn't want any sweetness, 
You could use agave, and it's just a squirt. You could use agave or you could use simple syrup. A simple syrup is just sugar melted in water. Okay, put the top on, get a little shake. So this is a great meal because it's so fast. You could serve this with a, a green salad. If you want to roast, you got the oven so hot. If you want to blast some burnt broccoli in there, I've shown you that recipe before. That's so easy. You just get some broccoli florets, some garlic. You preheat your pan 500 degrees. You throw your garlic in first. Let that saute for a few minutes. Turn that a couple times. Take it out. When it's almost done, throw the garlic in. If you throw the garlic in too fast, it's going to burn uh, because it's burnt broccoli. But you don't want burnt garlic. You want burnt broccoli. And then when that garlic cooks, take it out and it's done. And that's amazing. That would be great with this. Broccoli raw would be great with this. I'm really not, I don't follow rules when I, when someone says what should go with what food. Kind of just do whatever I want or whatever I enjoy. Let me just get some of this stuff out of the way. So the gin I'm using is organic gin. I like gin because it's, it's made with herbals. And if it's organic, then I just have to believe that it's better for me. I was gonna say my kids, but I'm not giving my kids gin, even though my oldest daughter is 21. I haven't given her gin yet. Um, but generally speaking, organic is going to be better for you and for me and for the environment. Here's why, and here's the logic, because I have friends that say, hey, Peter, how do you really know it's organic? And that's a good question. It's an honest question because there are some unscrupulous producers, food producers, providers in, in any industry, right? You know that. So here's my thing. If I purchase a product that's not organic, there's a pretty good chance that it's going to have, it's going to contain at least pesticides and possibly herbicides, fungicides. It could be genetically modified. It could have additives, preservatives, hormones, and antibiotics. I don't want any of that stuff. But think about pesticides for a second. Pesticide, C-I-D-E, what does that mean? It means to kill. So the product is designed to kill life. I don't want to give that to myself and to my children or the people that I care about. I don't want to give that to anyone, let's be honest. So, as a nutritionist, as a father, as someone that loves to cook and serve people, I just think it makes the most sense for me to buy organic when I can. Look, I know it's expensive. I get it. I respect that. We got to all make our decisions based on what we, what works for us and what we value most, right? And this is just where I decide to spend my money because I feel good when I do that. And there's always a chance for that friend who says, hey, Peter, how do you even know if it's organic? For that friend, what I would say is, you know what, at least there's a chance. And I say, you and I can't be the only two honest people in the world. There's gotta be someone else that's honest out there. So if they're saying it's organic, I wanna have this faith and, and say, yes, it is organic. Or believe in them that they're doing the right thing. Okay, we'll give this another shake. That's my little soapbox. I am off the soapbox. It's just about happy hour here. And we're gonna pour this. Yeah, there's something satisfying about that pour too. And we're gonna try just a little taste. We're gonna save it for dinner, but we're gonna try. Awesome because you get the tartness immediately from the lemon, but then you get the agave to soften that a little bit, to smooth it out a little bit. And then at the finish, you get some of the herbs that have been used and some of the botanicals that have been used to make the gin. So that's really cool. If you want to try that recipe, go ahead. So we're just about 18 minutes. I'm not going to put that there because I, I know I will spill that. We're just about 18 seconds, I should say. Let's see what this looks like. Oh man, that's incredible. I'm gonna take a picture of this for you, don't worry. But I'm just gonna do a little lift so that you can see it. It's gorgeous. It's caramelized. It's this orange color with a, a little bit of, not burnt, but caramelized piece basically is the best word. So what I would do for this, to plate it, and now I'm showing you behind the scenes because we're gonna see if it comes out of 
this pot or if it's going to stick, this pan. Okay, we're going to plate this. And I like the skin. My kids don't like the skin, so they don't eat it. And that's awesome, okay? And then we're going to take some of this sauce. We're going to drizzle it on. Awesome. And then we're going to do one more thing. Always, I tell my kids this, my daughters, really my son too, are starting to cook, especially my oldest daughter in college. She's cooking like three or four, I would even say more, five times a week because she doesn't have a meal plan. And I'm, I love it. I Venmo her money all the time, which is okay because she's buying, I know she's buying good food and she makes a lot of the recipes that I make. Um, or that we make together. I love that she's cooking in college. I got this recipe idea. I asked my kids, what should I make tonight? And my middle daughter, Emma, said, Dad, do that salmon recipe. It's so incredible. And I said, Emma, it's so simple. People are gonna be like, seriously? But Dad, trust me, just make it. It's delicious. So we're gonna do a fresh chop of parsley. And let me just share one more really cool tip. I keep my fresh herbs in this uh, pottery ceramic I think it is it's homemade this parsley and dill has been with me in the refrigerator for about two weeks it looks like I just bought it it's incredible I just fill it with cold water keep it in the fridge this will stay for a couple of weeks so you don't have to keep wasting um, buying fresh herbs all the time so you just do a little drizzle and believe me this takes a, an extra couple of seconds but it's so worth it because when your food looks good, it's gonna taste even better. And when you make your food with love, it's gonna taste even better. So remember to do those two things. And the last thing I wanna share with you before I dig into this and have my drink is I would love to do a cooking demo, a inspiring presentation, a, an educational presentation to your group, your association, your union, whatever it is, your next event. I would love to work with you to bring people these simple yet powerful strategies to raise their immune system, to decrease their stress and anxiety, and to get them living again, get them connected to their true selves, feeling good, looking good. Until next time, I'm Peter.